And a couple of years ago, I um, planted a Luganberry and Tayberry uh, bush over, well, it was more like a stalk, uh, over at my brother-in-law's house at the back of the, in the back garden. Uh, one of them is spiky and one of them is non -spi not spiky. Uh, Luganberry and Tayberry. And, you know, these bushes just produce and produce and produce and now we have not had a good summer but they are still producing and we are going over every two or three days and picking Luganberry and Tayberry and uh, Tanya is putting it into uh, making jam and we are giving pots of jam away pots and pots and people uh, love getting jam and this is uh, what we picked last night uh, when we were over off these two bushes and I am seriously thinking of getting rid of all my strawberry plants that uh, do not really deliver um, uh, in the back garden. They, they take up a lot, a lot of surface area and they are not delivering I'm afraid but these Luganberries uh, are just amazing. Uh, plant them, uh, throw a bit of uh, well rotted cow manure around them and just let them get on with it. Uh, of course, uh, cut off any suckers, big uh, uh, shoots that are coming out as well and try and keep them uh, under uh, control. But apart from that, these things are brilliant and will produce harvest after harvest. We are, I am well pleased with these.